in case D, I want to play a little bit with the distillation column number two, we're going to be changing the reflex ratio. And remember that the reflex ratio is nothing more than how much are we recycling compared to this one. So if we have one mole here, and currently we have a reflux ratio of four, then we are uh, getting back four moles. We withdraw five moles, one goes as a product, four goes back. And in some cases, this is going to increase the purity of our material. So let's go for the minimum flow rate. Hopefully, yeah, no errors, no warnings. Let's verify the results with this one. So we want to have the stack, stack gas. Well, actually stack should not be affected, nor should be liquefied petroleum gas. Products six and seven should definitely have an effect, especially in purity. So let's verify these cases right here with these cases right here. So as you can see, C7 goes from 95, actually it's decreasing to 94. So this makes a lot of sense. If you have less reflux ratio, you're going to decrease the purity of your materials. So that's why the toluene product is not that pure. But actually it's not that huge of a difference you are decreasing literally by 50% and the change is not that extreme. So let me, well, let me copy that. And continue with the following reflux ratio. So let's try number six. Let's see if we are currently in four, a increase in 50%, if there is anything anything that changes. Remember that we want to verify, once again, only C6 and C7 will do. Well, actually, let's put everything so we can compare easily. Stack gas, liquefied petroleum gas, C6 and C7. Great, now let's go to mole fractions, and mole flows. And right now, okay, as you can see, we are in 95.57 for our toluene, 95.48. So we have an increase about 0.20%, not that much. Actually, I don't know if it is worth it to increase the pumping cost and heating, cooling cost for this. So that will be a task for the engineer. So if it if the requirements are, I don't know, maybe 95.5 at least percent, then definitely you should do it. But if you don't have a requirement to do so, I don't think it's worth it. And now let's continue with the following, which will be 15. Let's change to 15. And you know that in real life, we have these exponential changes. So probably the more reflux you add, it is less time and less time worth it. Here we go, 95.6. From 95.48 to 95.61, actually there is no effect, actually it's decreasing. So we can say that the most recommended one will be a six. So let me copy that one here. And it's kind of funny. Maybe someone could say, wow, 15% reflux will definitely increase the purity. But there are other things that we can do to change the purity of toluene. So that is up to you guys. But a little tip is this part right here. Anyways, guys, these are the case scenarios I wanted to show you. These are some examples, you can change whatever you want. And the idea is that for you, the process engineer is always be attentive to all the properties that you can change. And the more you get familiarized with your process, the more you can change and tweak in order to improve your simulation.